Hi boys and girls, it's time for another Poetry Friday and this week I have Doggone School. It's written by Amy Schmidt and this time I'm going to read the whole book to you because it kind of follows along in an order, okay? So Doggone School. Ready? Here we go. Hop on the bus, no time to wait. It's time for school, we can't be late. Look at the puppies on the school bus. Teacher's pet, this is Lucy. She's never tardy on that, you can bet. She's perfect. She perfectly recites the alphabet. She never makes the teacher upset and she's as helpful as one can get. That's why Lucy is the teacher's pet. Adding up. If Simon lost two blocks and then he lost two more, how many blocks would be lost? The answer would be four. Maybe he should check the floor. Lab work. Mix, measure, pour, weigh. In class, I'm a scientist experimenting. Book nook. Shelves of books, reading nooks, authors, narrators, and illustrators. Tales of knights and fairy tales. Facts on mummies, bats, and whales. So many stories all in one. Space. Check out what they have in this cool place. I like that one. That's the library. <laughs> Slurp. Ralphie has a hallway pass to visit the water fountain. He can't reach to get a drink, so he's built a giant mountain. Slurp, slurp, hiccup, slurp, 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 hiccup. With a belly full of water, Ralphie sloshes back to class, but on his way, he starts to think he'll need a bathroom pass. Tuning up. The saxophone wails, the tuba bellows. The flute lets out a tweet. The trumpet whines, the cymbals crash, the drum keeps steady beat. A buzz with harmony. Lunch bunch. We should be eating lunch right now, but we just sit and stare. All we see are homemade cookies and hope that he will share. Unleashed. Bell is ringing. It's midday. Recess. Hooray! Time to play. Swinging feet fly toward the sky. A game of tag starts close by. Zooming down the giant slide. Someone's seeing, seeking, run and hide. Squealing, laughing, girls and boys, monkey bars and springing toys. Jump rope hopscotch games with friends. Bell is ringing. Recess ends. Spellbound. Maddie has a word that she is working hard to spell. It's a very common word. One Maddie knows well. <clears throat> is the letter she needs a B or C or L? If you know the missing letter, go ahead and tell. What letter does the doggy need? Globe trotting. At our school, on our street, in our city, inside our state, within our country, on our continent, of this world. Not me. We don't know how it started, and they won't tell us who. But one of these two fellows... Chewed up the teacher's shoe. <laughs> Masterpiece. Art. Paper. Scissors. Shapes. Snipping. Pasting. I am a masterpiece artist. I think that's called a haiku. Read. Ah. The R. Racing to the shelf. E. Ellie picked a special book. A and settled down in a favorite spot to D, dig into a good story. They're using each letter of read to make a poem that's called an acrostic. Home free, the bell has rung to end the day. Gather your things, head home to play. Except for Stan, he has to stay. And he has to write on the board, I will not eat my homework. I will not eat my homework. <laughs> the end. So that was a quickie and a funny one with um, 
dog using dogs to <laughs> write poetry dogs in school that's a cute one that came out just a couple years ago uh, it was at one of our book fairs and I grabbed it for the library that's a cute one uh, with poetry and it had a couple different forms of poetry in there we saw an acrostic and we saw haiku in there different types of poetry the teachers might have had you uh, try to write a haiku at one time and I know I've had you do acrostics in library uh, so we have one more week and I have a good um, another book on fun school poems to end out our year and then fifth graders you're going to be moving up now as far as those library books, Mrs. Roberts and I were in. We were into both Central and Ritter, putting away books. Teachers uh, got books out of desks and turned them into the library. So if you still have books at home, um, Central, you were pretty good, except for Mrs. Miller's class <laughs> in fifth grade. and. Ritter fifth grade you owe me a lot of library books so when you come to pick up your things your bags please bring your library books back to school to drop them off okay um, we're missing a lot of books and we would really like them back for the other kids to enjoy in the next coming years okay because it will follow you to middle school Okay, when you go to check out a book, they'll say, you still owe books to your elementary school. So please bring them back when you come to pick up your things next week at Central and at Ritter. Please bring your books back to drop them off. Thank you very much. I would really appreciate it, and so will the kids who are still at Ritter and Central, okay? Please, please, please bring those library books back when you come to pick up your things. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have enjoyed today's poetry reading, and I will see you one more time, and then we will be enjoying the summer. Bye-bye.